just uh, give it a second here. Um, <coughs> give a few of you a chance to join should you choose to or have the opportunity to. I know it's the middle of the afternoon, but hey, it's my day off, so what else am I going to do? Oh, who's that? Looks like we've got a couple people. Hello. Danielle, Katie, hi. Hi. We're going to play a game. Welcome. Playing a game. So, um, first of all, for anybody who might end up watching this video that followed me over from Snapchat, um, I do, I did, uh, a video about my Ipsy, um, Ipsy bags this month. Um, and one of the things that I got in my Ipsy bag, my little Ipsy bag was this Clean Lab AC Dew foam. Um, I hated it. I hated it. First of all, the at first I thought that I was going to love it. Like it's got like this almost pillowy consistency. You can't really Oh. I don't know. It's like um cloud-like almost. It's weird. Semen again. I don't know. Um but at first I really thought I was going to love it, but as I was sitting here waiting for my cookies to bake, um, yes, I put four cookies in the oven for myself. Thank you very much. Um, as I was sitting here waiting for my cookies to bake, I realized that my skin was just drying out. So, um, that's going to be a no go on the Dewy Tree Clean Lab AC Dew Foam. No go for those of you who give a shit. Um, so in the meantime, we're going to play a game and we're going to play with this palette. This is the Anastasia of Beverly Hills Norvina Pro Palette 1. Um, this is specifically a really good palette to play this particular game with because of the way that it's laid out. I love this palette. Um, come on, from the other direction. Love this palette. First of all, isn't that pretty? Oh, I love it. Um, but the way that it's laid out, it doesn't have actual, um, sorry, it's a mess. Um, it doesn't have shade names like so many of them do, but it has shade numbers. As you can see, A through E and 1 through 5. So perfect for this particular game, whereby I will be randomly choosing... A, B, C, D, E. One, two, three, four, five. I will be randomly choosing which colors from the makeup palette that I will be using for this look today. Um, this is something that I use occasionally just to spark a little bit of creativity. And sometimes it's a blast and sometimes I look a hot mess. Sometimes I might have to throw in something from the, uh, the wall of eyeshadows. Let's give that a look wall of oh, eyeshadows. Um, yeah. It is. It's just like semen. Okay. I don't know what you're talking about. Katie. How dare you. Anyway, so. <laughs> so we're going to open this bad boy up. Um, and looks like we're going to start one through five. One through five. What do we got? What do we got? I'm not looking, I'm not looking. Three. Row three. Column three, I should say. I know what you're talking about, Katie. I know exactly what you're talking about. I'm joking. Um, one through, okay, so we've got row three. Row three, Katie. So you check it out. And whoever else is currently watching or will be watching. And the letter that we will be choosing for our first color is D. So, D3, oh, goody. Goody. We're going to start off real, real um, strong here with this bright-ass 
almost, it's like red, but it's like a neon red. It's weird. I love it. It's fantastic. But, um, yeah, so we're going to start off with like a strong, strong red. Now, maybe I should have done this beforehand. Um, one of the things about my page that I'm going to flatly admit to all of you is it is going to be disorganized for a little while. I am learning as I go here. I am starting a few different ventures kind of all at once with this. So bear with me as I learn how to organize my shit and what needs to be done first and what needs to be done on camera and off of camera. I'm still learning. So um, so we're going to start with some eyebrows, actually, uh, before we go into this uh, deep red. <sighs> oh, that's going to be so fun. Um Anyway, so typically I start my eyebrows, everybody knows, with my Morphe Artistry palette. Um, it's 39A, Dare to Create. It's the sister palette to, one of the sister palettes to James Charles's Dare to Create series. So, um, I always go in with this color here. It's called Bear because I am a ghost. And y'all come back now, you hear? Y'all come back now, you hear? There's no sound in the background or anything, and I can't put anything on because if I do, YouTube won't let me post it. Oh, that's copyrighted. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So with the eyebrows, I typically try to go, I do like, so I use this brush, um, angle it inwards, and go to just about where the corner of my eye is. The next step is to draw a line from where you started, the top of the front of the brow to the end of the tail and then fill it in and that gives me fairly decent consistency um, on my eyebrows so now that we have our eyebrows done and the reason that I had to jump in and do my eyebrows first is because your eyebrows create the frame for the rest of your face or excuse me, for the rest of your eye. So um, I always do my eyebrows first. Um, look at my unorganized ass. Okay. So I we start off with um, either a primer or a concealer on our eyelids. Um, it helps to even things out and makeup sticks to makeup. So it's better to have something on to start before you start putting color on. It helps things to stick and to blend properly. Um, my concealer, it's called Little Stuff For You. It's actually from a company in Oregon, um, handmade. I absolutely love this stuff. I will be buying it probably fairly consistently from now on. It seems to go really far. The scent isn't bad as some of them can be. And, um, the color is just perfect on me. The consistency is wonderful. I just really love it. So I gotta go ahead and put on concealer and I'm pretty liberal with it to start. Make sure you get underneath the eye as well because how else are you gonna smoke it out, honey? How else are you gonna smoke it out? We're going to put some music on here shortly. And just as a fair warning, this is not the kind of music that I would typically listen to. However, however, um, there are copyright laws that YouTube, like, doesn't want you to violate for some reason. Whatever. Um, so we're just going to jump in here and go to this free music app on this other phone that I've got. Two phones? What? Yeah, I wish that I could just use the phone that we're talking on right now. No, I don't want that. What's this? No, no this 
this isn't Fiona Apple. Okay, still not my jam, but we'll go with it. Okay, so we're prepped now. See, these are things that I need to start doing off camera, but I don't want to. I really do want everybody to be able to see the process because it's not as complicated as some people make it out to be. Now, believe it or not, I recently did use this bright ass red. So I have a brush that is still red. Um, so we're going to start by going into our crease with this color. Um, now, fair warning, um, and this is another good reason to wear primer and or concealer, especially with the red, is that they stain. Um, not always, but if you have some sort of, you know, any sensitivity to your skin whatsoever, you will see staining from reds and pink a lot of the time. Um, all eyeshadows are a little bit different. Um, you'll notice, for example, that like purples have a lot of fallout. That's one of the reasons that I really love this particular palette because it has some beautiful purples and very, very little fallout. Okay, so. Right eye on. Yeah, raise. I don't know nothing about this demon. Oh no, radio silence. Okay, I look a hot mess, but that's to be expected. That's one thing that you have to remember, folks, is that, for real, you're going to look a hot mess for a while. It's not going to come together right away. So we have our first color on, bright ash red, for those of you just joining us. Um, we're on to the second stage of our game. So we've got our... Don't remember, remember folks, I'm a disorganized mess. So we've got our letters, one, <laughs> letters one through five. Um, letters A through E. Not looking, not looking, not looking. We're going to be going into row B, which has a bunch of purples, and then there's kind of a shimmery brown that I haven't actually used yet. And the next shade we'll be going in with. We've got our letters in here, one through five. What do we got? It's four. So we're going into B4, which is a really pretty purple. So that'll be fun. It's going to be that dark purple there. So I'm actually just going to go ahead and stick with the same brush because believe it or not, you can do that. <laughs> what? I know. Um, you know what? No. We're going to go in with something a little bit more detailed. This kind of angled packing brush. I'm not sure what the brushes are supposed to be used for. You guys are going to see what I use them for. Because I'm just a regular gal, you know? Because this is a regular gal's guide to makeup and more. So I'm going to put this just all up on my lid. All up on my lid. I don't know why I went in with the detailed brush. I changed my mind at the very last second as I was going for it. The other thing I need to learn to do is how to sit in an angle that y'all can see what the f I'm doing. Okay. Um, a lot of these in this particular palette are not actually eyeshadows. They're pressed pigments. 
Um, and you'll see that a lot nowadays, actually. The James Charles palette really kind of in, you know, got the makeup community kicked into high gear in terms of, like, creativity with color and whatnot. So, um, and he started with the pressed pigments, which are really, really super bright, super bold. Now, we've gone in with the red up top, we've got, which, by the way, as I have noted before, red stains. So, um, next video you'll probably get to see that, that staining. Um, so we've packed on a little bit of that purple, we've got the red in the crease. We're still looking a hot mess, and get what, well, guess what, darling? It's okay. It's okay to still look a hot mess. What's our third color gonna be? Oh, this is where things can go drastically wrong, folks. We're back into row B. It better not be number four. Mm. One. B one. Bingo! Okay. That is this kind of pinkish purple. So we're going to actually go ahead and use this brush for what I would typically use it for. And we're going to go right in between where the red and the purple are. Um, to start. And then... We're going to hit this purple back up, this dark purple. It's okay to go back into the colors you've already used. You've got to. If you're just doing a little bit at a time, you build. Build it, honey, build it. If you build it, they will come. <laughs> See them. And then we're going to pick that pink back up again. And I have just a regular shadow switching pan here. Um, it's like a black foam. Um, I'm. You can find it just about anywhere for dirt cheap. Or you can buy... I got this one. It came with the, the actual pan for $5. I do want to go ahead at some point and get like a new square to put in there. But that can happen at any time. Because it still works. I highly recommend getting this shadow switching pan if you don't already have one. Especially if you don't have a lot of brushes. If you only have a handful of brushes, you're still going to want to have a clean, a clean tool to work with so that you don't transfer dark into light. Alright, so what do we get next? This is, again, things can go drastically wrong at this point. So we've got, oops. I don't know what it was. D. Oh, goodness, folks. We've got some oranges and a, a dark-ass, like, burnt sienna. So we've got D and... One. Woo! Okay. Okay. That is this orange color that I have never, ever ever used but it's pretty i just haven't used it and that therein folks is the point of the game the point of the game is to explore your horizons and expand what you might try now i feel very blessed to have gotten this as um, my next color. We are going to do one more, but we're not going to go on the upper lid for that. We're going to go on the lower lid. And probably going to top off with some things, too. Um, let me get this orange right up in here. Now, keep in mind, folks, that I can only show you how this works on me. Everybody's got different eye shapes and you know, whatnot. Um, 
for now it's just me, but I do plan on having friends come and join us. Um, I will be doing makeovers and giveaways. Um, some of the things that I will be giving away include this Too Faced Pineapple, Sparkling Pineapple Palette, which has the most gorgeous gold and just a stunning duochrome, triochrome, multi-chrome color that's going on. Um, as well as this package of 10 um, eyeshadow pencils. I do have a handful of other things, but for the time being, those are used. They are sanitized and of high quality, but they have been used and swatched. So, um, most of them come with um, some sort of a palette, a brush, and a bag, but it depends on what it is that you're getting. So, we're going to go back in with this red because um, what's the point of the game if you can't tell which colors were used? Um, at this point, this red has kind of gotten pushed to the background, so we're just going to really fill in this outer corner here with the red and into the crease. Still, we're in the crease. <clears throat> Making sure that we can see all of these colors here. There we go, just a little bit above here. Blend all this together. Went back in with this pink, by the way, is what I've got on the brush right now. For some reason, this left eye doesn't want to blend very well. And I know that part of that, at least, is just the angles that I have to put the brush in order. Keep in mind, folks, unless you're ambidextrous, you're coming at your eye at completely different angles on each side. So it does take a little bit of um, practice to start to understand how to hold the brushes in order to get the looks that you're wanting. And sometimes, sometimes we fail at that, but we keep trying. So, put my glasses on and see where we're at. Okay. Okay. It's not terrible. Not terrible. Um, so, we've got one more color to go. We're going to go with our, to, to our uh, under eye area. Um, so, again, for whoever just joined us. Oh, oh forever who just joined us um playing a game i've got these palette one through five a through e and we're just kind of letting fate decide what our makeup look is today so we're gonna start with our letters here bum, 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 bum. this is the last color so we're going to use e again so we're back into those oranges uh-oh, what's gonna happen? All right. Hi. Hi, who's watching? I appreciate you. Mwah, mwah. Um, and now we're going in. What's it gonna be? One through five? It's not gonna be one. We just used one. It's not gonna be one. It's gonna be four. Okay, so we started off with bright ass red and we are going to end with bright ass orange. E4 is. Okay. Now I have a brush. It's a tiny, tiny brush. And just for the sake of those of you watching, I do not 
normally listen to this music. Do not listen to this music. But I need something that is YouTube friendly and not copyrighted. So we go with what we have. I might look into some of my beautiful musician friends. Oh, Tangerine, that is, yes, let's call that Tangerine. Beautiful Tangerine, not bright as orange, it's beautiful Tangerine. We need to speak positively. So I'm using this tiny, tiny, tiny ass brush and going right underneath my eye. And I'm pulling this about three quarters of the way in to my inner eye, right about anyway. Okay, we still got some work to do, folks. Don't think we're done. Because this left eye is still looking a hot mess. Hey, left eye, why won't you cooperate on this live video that we're having? Hi, Zajra. Oh, honey, mwah. I love you. I don't know. I don't know. This eye doesn't want to cooperate with me, and I'm getting very upset with it. So we're going to use this uh, precision blending brush to not blend, but, well, yeah, no, we're totally fucking blending. We're going to blend the shit out of this, because that's basically what's going on. We're going to start with some of the purple that we started with, make sure that it's everywhere that it needs to be, and the red as well. Okay, so that's better. It's not perfect, but it's better. So one thing that I recommend that everybody have in their makeup kits, <clears throat> I can't find. <laughs> oh no, that's because I got it out in preparation. The one thing that I prepared for. <laughs> okay, um, the one thing that I think everybody needs to have is an eye cream. This one is by Nasific. It's their Fresh Herb Origins Eye Cream. Mwah. Um, and since it is brightening and hydrating, I don't know. I got this from my Ipsy bag. I generally rely on them a lot. And when they send me a product, I do generally use pretty much what they send me. Um, and if not, I give it away to my sister or my mother or my roommate. And now to y'all. So we're back to that semen-like consistency. Oh, oh. I don't know if I like that, but that's about what an eye cream is. It's very semen-like. I mean, we're just kind of running the gamut at this point. Sorry, I keep saying semen. All right. Okay, so... The reason that I think that everybody needs eye cream is because with a Q-tip, it is a really good way to clean up that under eye area of any fallout that you might get. Because remember, reds stain and purples have fallout. Um, and we used both of those today. So go me. Look at me putting things away before I'm ready. This isn't Sarah Barillis. This music is driving me nuts, man. I might have to do some serious digging when it comes to finding something to listen to for you folks. Because this is definitely not me. Mm, okay, so. We're about where we're going to be. Because guess what? Not every day it's going to turn out perfect. And while this isn't perfect, I think that it's pretty and it's something that I wouldn't have normally done. So mission accomplished, folks. Um, we still have a ways to go yet. I'm going to put on my... We're going to take this all the way up, folks. 
all the way up to the brow bone. And this, by the way, is that um, E1, that really pretty shimmery tangerine orange color. Um, shimmering tangerine. We have beautiful tangerine and shimmering tangerine. I should name makeup colors for a living. I would totally be good at it. You like frog prince green. Eyeball reflection blue. I don't know. I am terrible at this. I could never do that as a live for a living. Um, okay, so now there are a few things that we try to do with almost every makeup look, and one of them is to highlight the brow bone. Um, right underneath, and what I'm going to use today for this is from the Wall O Eyeshadows. Let's take a look at it, folks. The Wall O Eyeshadows, and we are using Stila. We are going to be using Stila's Yellow Tails. Um, it's a liquid eyeshadow. Really, really love it. And we're going right underneath the arch of our eyebrow. And it's going to be kind of a harsh line because it's a liquid. So then, just fingertips, blot it out. Fingertips and blot it out. Yes. That's clean. <laughs> okay. So, I think... Oh, no, I'm wrong. We need to do just a little bit more cleanup here because we need to get right. I have like a fold sort of in the corner of my eye. It's not so much a fold, but it's just like a spot that goes over the top of everything else. And it causes things to be just a little bit messy sometimes. So right now I'm just cleaning that up, making sure that that looks okay. Um, <clears throat> and then for that inner eye, because you do want a pop of shimmer on that inner eye. It's the reflection that makes your eyes look really, really bright. Eye of Newt. Frogtail green. See, this is why I can never name colors. Okay, so this one is one of my all-time favorite eyeshadows. I got this one from Ipsy from a company in England, and I will be tagging all of the products that I have used in this makeup video um, below, I guess. I'm not sure how this works, so we'll see how it turns out, but I am going to make sure that um, a list of everything that we've done is on there. But I got this from England, came by Royal Mail. <laughs> um, and I love it. This glitter has the most amazing ethereal shimmer to it. Um, I recently used it for a quinceanera and it stayed all day. The one thing you don't want it to happen is to have it explode in your bag, which I did. And that sucked a lot, but I managed to salvage most of it, which was beneficial because I don't know how I got that thing to work on the quinceanera if I hadn't. <clears throat> so moving right along here. We're going to go on to our eyeshadows and, or excuse me, our eyeliner and uh, mascara. For eyeliner, I use Charmy um, most of the time. I have the Hello Kitty Charmy um, eyeliner kit. Um, and I think today, just to really add a pop, let's go with the blue. What do you think? Should we try the blue? I think with that red and the orange and the... I think that'll be really pretty. Um, looks like I've used it and not sharpened it. How oh, dare I? So, sharpen our pencil here. And... Pull that straight across our eyelid. And 
And don't forget, ladies, you don't have to have a winged eye to feel fly. <laughs> See what I did there? But seriously, I don't do winged eyes most of the time. Um, I'm really bad at them. Um, but that's kind of one of the points of this whole page is to point out that, like, you don't have to be good at everything. You don't... It doesn't have to be perfect every time. Just practice and enjoy your time and... about set. Now that light color again is going to really help to open the eye up. Um, the darker it is, the more closed off everything is going to look. Um, and that's just the way it works. Um, and I think I'm actually going to go in with this sharpen it up a little bit but I do want to go in a little bit with this white from this charming kit I haven't tried it in a while I just went right in the corner okay now I Curl my eyelashes every time. Yes, I use the ancient torture device for my eyelashes. And it's not good for them, but I do not have extensions because, guess what? I'm just a regular gal. Alright. Yeah, I know I look ridiculous. I've got metal a quarter of an inch from my eyeball. And yes, I am blinking while I do that. I don't know if I'm the only person that does that, but I blink the whole time that I'm using it. Wave it up now. What? 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 mascara folks I am using Thrive Cosmetics liquid lash extensions um, in the color Bryn B-R-Y-N-N -N. and I am in love with this mascara um, not waterproof however the way that it goes onto your eyelash, it kind of forms like a tube around the lash and extends it from there. So first of all, you're getting a lot of volume and boost. Um, but beyond that, if it gets wet, it doesn't leave you with raccoon eyes. It's just easy to kind of brush away, which is nice because Let's be honest, folks. Waterproof mascaras are not good for our eyelashes. Um, they're just not. At least not for an everyday use. If you're using them every now and again, not a big deal. But for everyday use, if you're washing your face properly at the end of every night, which let's admit it, none of us do that. But if you're washing your face properly at the end of every single night, with that mascara, you're going to pull your eyelashes out. Trust me, I've done it. Okay, so check it out, folks. We've got a full eye. Um, we're going to go ahead and continue on with 
just the rest of our routine here. Um, I know most of you have probably gone elsewhere at this point. Um, so we're going to talk about our YouTube giveaways. Um, I have been juggling back and forth trying to decide how many viewers I feel that I want to set my giveaways at. Um, I don't want it to be huge, but I don't want it to be too small either. You know what I mean? That's what she said. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. By the way, folks, I am priming my face. Uh, I am making a clean and smooth canvas for the rest of my makeup to go on to. I am currently in the mood or in the state of using the Pores No More Luminizer Primer, Dr. Brandt Pores No More Luminizer Primer. Um, kind of has just like a dewy finish to it. Um, as you're doing this, you do want to try to move in upward strokes. Um, gravity does enough to pull your face down already. You don't need to help it along. All right, so primer done. We're going to go in with our Stila Souffle. So this is the Lingerie Souffle um, Skin Perfecting color it was in the shade three but that was too dark for me so i added the nyx total control drop foundation in the shade light um mix that up with um some of my makeup tools which for and oh, what's a makeup tool okay well let's look this is a makeup tool it's tiny little like um tiny little um Rubber scrapers, spatulas. So we're gonna use this Stila foundation and hope to goodness that this is an okay color given how pasty ginger I am. We're, I use a brush. Not everybody likes using brushes for their foundation, but right now I am using a brush. Um, everybody's got their own techniques. This is the flat foundation brush from that I got into my last Ipsy bag. It's a La Roche. Um, so just kind of dipping that in there. Right? And I'm going to start because I am super light and this is a light foundation. We start where we have, where light hits us. So on our cheeks and our nose and our forehead, um, those are the main places that we want to make sure that we hit first. Oh, it might be too dark still. Maybe a little orange, I'm not sure. Hmm. This is my first time using this foundation as it is. Um, I have been mixing my own foundation color for quite some time in many different ways because it is hard to find the right foundation color. It really is. Um, for those of you who need just a little tip or whatever, just a tip. Um, <laughs> Um, for those of you who want the, the tip, you don't have to take the tip, but, um, <laughs> um, you want to match your, um, foundation at your neckline, um, which I failed to do this time, and it's proving to be, ah, that's not terrible. It's still a little bit orange. It could definitely be a little bit more, um, a little less yellow than it is. But it's not bad. I've had much worse, much worse foundation matches. So, now, the, why did you get it if it was so dark, London? Well, because it was $9. For Stila. 
and sorry folks but if i can get it for cheap i'm gonna because good products um last longer most of the time um they cost more for a reason um that being said there are a lot of products that don't cost that much that do a wonderful job elf is a phenomenal brand that does wonderful things when it comes to powders and um lipsticks and they're just they're really they're really great so um it doesn't always have to be expensive so now we've got our foundation on um, keep in mind that before I started all of this, I did prep my skin. We washed our face, we dried it, we um, toned it, and put, um, I used a, a, a mask, a honey, royal honey bubble mask. Um, and then, yeah, so we just, we, we made sure to take care of our face. We put the moisture back in, the whole works. So, um foundation is on and I am going in with my Morphe highlighter contour palette um, right underneath my cheekbones um, and with this brush the press and set bronzer bush bush the press and set bronzer brush by complex culture again folks just so you're aware if you didn't catch this before I do not use brushes for what they are supposed to be used for. I use them however I feel they want to be used. Some things work better for me in different ways and that's okay. Just because they say it's a press and set brush doesn't mean it can't be a contour brush. So we're just going right up under there um, making sure that we get at our hairline as well. Got our hairline, and then that was with the lightest color. Now I'm going in with the actual actual contour blush brush by the same company, Complex Culture, um, and I'm going in with the next color. It's called Donut. I want a fucking donut. Shut up, one, and you just had cookies. And kind of following along. I, we're going below our cheekbone, but barely. Because we don't want our face to be drugged down. We want to lift. We want to lift. So upward strokes help with that. And again, this is just how I do it. Everybody's got their own ways of doing things, their own products, their own lo loves. And again, we're getting up. Should we get down our neck? And glasses on so I can see what I'm doing. We're going to get some blush. What are we going to do with our blush? We are going to use our glamorous blush 10 color blush palette. Now we're going to have a conversation about this one while we're doing it because these motherfuckers, these motherfuckers right here, they, I ordered this palette from the company that it, I got it from, um, BH Cosmetics. They have some really, their makeup is inexpensive and it is fantastic, but their customer, customer support is crap. Um, it took forever for them to ship my purchase. Um, once they did, they did not actually update the shipping ever, so I really had no idea for the entire life of them having my money why they, what was going on with it, and when it arrived, it didn't have this kit in it, this, this blush kit, and this was like the whole reason that I wanted to order from them, um... I needed some adventurous blush. Now, they said that they were out or whatever, but mm -hmm. they did not warn me of that at any point. They did not try to refund me my money. They did not tell me that they they left it up to me to figure out that um, I did not have all of the products that I had ordered. So I, I have not, I have 
So I didn't end up getting this blush palette from them. I ended up buying, uh, oh, and I was so super petty too. I bought a, a lot of makeup, a makeup lot off of Facebook. It was like $100 and I got so much beautiful makeup and this was in it. And so despite the fact that I really probably shouldn't have and I couldn't really afford it at the time, I went for it because fuck BH Cosmetics and I got what I want anyway. So that is my story of BH Cosmetics and their fuckery. So just going in with this again, with this red color since we started off with a bold red in our makeup game we'll end with a bold red on our cheeks i think that's fitting and i'm not going too far in um the further in you go the older you're gonna look so um try to stick with it like halfway between the I, your iris and your, or excuse me, the black, yeah, your iris, duh. Um, halfway between your iris and the corner of your eye is about where you want to try to stop. Um, and lay it down a tiny, tiny bit at a time. That's a bold color. If I had gone in with a lot of color all at once, I'd look like a clown. Do I look like a clown? I don't think I look like a clown. I look fly as fuck. And I'm not even done yet. What? That's right. Be adored. Be loved. Be you. Oh. Um, we're going in with the Cody Airspun Powder. Um, and actually, this is mixed with a few other powders, if I'm being really honest with you. It took me a while to find a powder that works for me. Um, with the Cody Airspun. And, yeah. I, I had some disappointing powder moments, some very disappointing powder moments. Um, so now we are going to bake, not get baked, bake right under our eyes. And yes, that is a lot of powder. We want a lot of powder. Um, right up the middle of my nose and go up the cheekbone this is going to help even out the contour and blend things together um so that's going to sit for just a second oh nope how could I forget? So I always try to get my foundation just a slightly darker than, oh, there, see right there in the middle. Um, I try to get my foundation just slightly darker than it needs to be because I do use a lot of powder um, and that lightens things up quite a bit. So yeah. All right, so for brevity's sake, um, I would typically let this sit for like two and a half, three minutes, but I'm not going to sit here with you guys like that for two and a half, three minutes. This video is already a lot longer than I expected it to be. Um, I've been live for a long time, so, um, and I think like three people have said hello. Uh, although I really appreciate you watching. I really do. Um, for those of you who aren't familiar with what's going on, I am working on um, a YouTube channel. I... I'm going to need help from the people that I love. Um, I am navigating this on my own. If I f fail, you will see it. If I soar, you will see it. You will see the goods, the bads, the ups, the downs, the whole rigmarole of it. Um, because I am just a regular person and I want to represent myself as such I don't want to be a an influencer I just want to share makeup tips with my friends hi Tara Mwah, I love you um okay so now that we've let that sit for a bit we are going to clean that powder off um starting with the stuff on the forehead and the nose take care of the under eye areas 
And then the neck. I always do the neck last. Or excuse me, the chin slash neck area. Hi, beautiful. Mwah. All right, so check it out. We're not quite done, but we're almost there. Um, we're going to go in with our highlighter, our flush highlighter in the shade Jump. Um, I got this from my most recent um, Ipsy Glam Bag Ultimate, whatever it is. Um, this stuff is really soft, and the payoff is just incredible. You can't really see it on camera, unfortunately, but... Um, as we uh, grow and learn together, um, we will upgrade our equipment, um, but we are focusing on content first. So um, we're going to go in with just a regular angled contour brush. Um, this one I got from that same makeup lot actually um, came with a... The one thing I don't like about this is that there is a lot of fallout. I mean, did you, I mean, you can see it on camera. That's a lot of fallout. And we're just right about where our blush was, but a little bit higher. And on our finger, just the tiniest bit on the tip of the nose and a thin strip of highlighter down the center of the nose really does a lot to thin it out so let's find a lip we're gonna just go with lip gloss today Thank you, honey. I love my curls. Um, I am in desperate, desperate need of a haircut and some different shampoo, but I love my curls. Thank you so much. Um, so um, let's jump back in. Sorry. Um, this is, again, back with the Thrive Cosmetics. This is the shade Effie, and this is just a basic lip gloss. Pink and shimmery lip gloss. All right, so this is London with a regular girl, <laughs> a regular gal's guide to makeup and more. Um, keep an eye out for the YouTube videos. Um, well, this is going to be one, I guess. Um, but, uh, definitely make sure to join me. Um, when I reach a hundred viewers, we're going to give our, have our first giveaway. So a hundred viewers on my YouTube channel and we will have our first giveaway. Um, so yeah. Um, again, be adored, be loved, be you, hang cool, be tight. I don't have a sign off yet. Good night.